Hi Leo, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for coming by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And um, please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Thank you so much. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. I'd love to do this for you guys. And your support really, really means a lot to me. So we can help grow the channel and get the messages out to the people that need to hear it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So Leo, I'm a Leo also, hence the name Leo Sunlight Insight. The sun also represents Leo in the tarot. So that's how the name came to be. All right, and I love to give insight. So let's see, Leo. Hope everybody's doing well. I know your birthday just passed. Our birthday just passed for the season of Leo. Okay, almost done summer. All right, so with this deck here, we will see what we get. Oh, we've got one already. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is a little extra bonus. So we have Scorpio. So some Leos could be dealing with a Scorpio in some way, shape, or form. This is a general reading. I will read it as such, but if you can fit it into any kind of situation that you're in, whether it be a love situation or career, work, family, whatever here, you, you're more than welcome to do that, but I will read it as a general reading. So you could have Scorpio in your chart or someone you know could have Scorpio in their chart. I do believe Scorpio um, is my moon sign. My moon sign. So, okay. Let's see what we got for Leo the first half of September. What's going on with Leo Spirit, please? The first half of September. First half of September for Leo. What's going on with Leo? What is their energy like? What's going on with them? One card for Leo, please. There we go. And we have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? So some of you may be just realizing now that Whatever situation you're in, maybe you're realizing, you know, I'm tired of what I've been doing, the life I've been living, or whatever, maybe career path you've been leading, or whatever here, finally reala realizing that's not really your sole mission, your sole purpose, what you truly, really love to do. It's like that inkling in your soul, like this, I've always wanted to do this or that, and now it's like, I really need to do it. So it's answering that call. And what is your soul purpose telling you to do? So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. So some here may need to take a break. If you're working too hard, just retreat, rest, uh, and spend some time caring for yourself. And take a break. A life's work, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So, yep, <laughs> rest and take a break. Wow, well, that couldn't get uh, any more clearer than that. So, so maybe whatever you know path you're on now, you really work hard, you work a lot, and it's something maybe you really you know, maybe you really don't enjoy doing it. And you said, you know, maybe you're saying, I would really rather do this or that. I've always wanted to do a certain things, you know, since childhood. And now it's like, you know what? I think I'm going to finally follow my dream. All right. And the Scorpio, I mean, it could be a friend, a coworker. It could be, again, just a sign in your chart in some way. All right, so I think I'll have to shuffle these this way. What is the energy like for Leo? Why are they in this energy? What's going on with Leo? First half of September spirit, please. Can we clarify for Leo with a card or two, please, spirit? Thank you so much. Thank 
you for Leo. There we go. What do we have? Oh, my card's upside down. Nope, okay. So we have exactly <laughs> the Ten of Cups in reverse. So whatever you're doing now, you're not content doing it. You're not happy. The Ten of Cups is all about total conf um you know, it says completion and the upright, but in reverse, and it's usually about happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. So whatever you're doing now, Leo, some of you, you're just not fulfilled. You're not happy. You're not fulfilled doing whatever you're doing right now. That's what I'm getting. So let's see what other energy is around you. So we got one, one more for Leo. Thank you. So we have the five of pentacles. Wow, and the seven of pentacles. So, and you know, seven of pentacles is just, you know, like you're doing the work, but you just kind of like blah. You know, you put in the work and you kind of just like it, potential. It's like abandonment and potential. So it's like you're doing the work, but you're just bored with it. Um, and the five of pentacles here, maybe you have some monetary lack. It's like no matter how hard I work, what I do, I'm not even fulfilled doing what I do. I can't get ahead. Um, having some, you know, monetary lack of some kind here. Wow. All right, so let's see what else do we have here to clarify the Page of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So, trust your imagination. Wow, look at that. Trust your imagination. So, <laughs> and answer the call. So whatever you've been dreaming of to do since since whenever, could be since last week, could be since you were a child, you know, whatever you've been, feel like you've been called to do, been wanting to do that you feel like is your dream. I think here it's just trust your imagination, trust your dreams, trust what your soul, soul is calling you to do. And this page of cups is water energy. We have pentacles, a lot of pentacle earth energy here. So you could have earth heavily in your chart. Either that or this is just really about your career and your work. Um, you want to be somebody who is stable and grounded, who can, you know, take care of themselves, who doesn't have to worry about being monetary, having monetary lack and working and working and still can't get ahead and being like totally unfulfilled. You want to be stable and grounded, can take care of yourself, independent, never have to worry, you know, making your pentacles and not having to worry. So, and this is, you know, imagination page of cups. So this is messages. And I think really here needing to listen to your heart, your intuition, um, your dreams, your ambitions, your goals, your desires, in your soul purpose. This is like really listening to that, listening to um, what your heart and soul is calling you to do. Wow. Okay. So let's see what your actual situation is now, Leo, for the first half of September. The first half of September. Well, okay. That was in reverse. Okay, Leo, first half of September. What else for Leo? If I can shuffle them this way. Huge, huge cards. Put that one that way. Thank you. Okay. So we have the hangman in reverse, limbo. We have the knight of cups, proposals. And then we have the Six of Cups. Wow. So your situation here, now we have a lot of water energy. Here's a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So maybe this is someone from the past. The Six of Cups is past um, somebody you maybe known a very long time ago from childhood, from school, even college. Um, just uh, past memories, nostalgia, past family friends here. And we have proposals. So there could be someone from your past coming back in with a proposal for something new for you. And with the hanged man here, it's like you you feel like you're stuck in, in limbo here with the hanged man energy because upright in limbo kind of just stuck. But now 
coming out of limbo. You're ready to be unstuck. It's like you're unsticking yourself because of some kind of offer that's coming in from somebody uh, from the past. And you're getting yourself unstuck and you may, may be accepting this offer or proposal coming into you. And it could be from a water sign. We have a Scorpio there, but it could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Wow. You know, and water energy is very loving, nurturing, caring, giving. So it may be something that you can trust here. And maybe they even could be a business owner or an entrepreneur or something like that. And maybe they're like, hey, why don't you come work for me? Or, you know, I have this opportunity, you know, if you're interested or something like that. And you're like, hey, you know, I always wanted to do something like that. And now it's like answering the call. He is answering the call with the proposal coming in. Wow. And there's the proposal. There's the proposal. Wow. Okay, so let's get more clarity on this. So now we have the king of the ocean, which is the emperor. And the two of swords. So again, the emperor here is Aries energy. So again, I had said maybe somebody here is a biz business owner or entrepreneur or something like that. And the emperor is somebody who is in charge, the boss. Um, could be like a CEO or just somebody like that who may be coming in to offer you a stable offer here. And you want to also be stable also on your own. So, yep, I definitely feel that energy here. And you may feel like you're at a crossroads here needing to make a decision. Uh, quite not quite sure what to do. Maybe you've had this career job for a very very long time with the six of cups energy. And, you know, maybe you have friends there and that are like family, and you know you're at a crossroads. You know, do I really want to take this new opportunity? Do I stay where I am? You know, not really. You know, being sure what to do here. With the two of swords energy, a little indecisive. I don't see why you would would be maybe for some reason you're wondering if you could trust this offer maybe it seems too good to be true and you're like can I trust this pentacles are usually trustable water signs are very you know caring giving and nurturing all right so let's see what sure put the camera down we'll get some advice for you Leo in this situation what advice do we have for Leo? Leo, Leo. Advice for Leo. Okay, so we have the moon and we have the six of wands. So the moon is Cancer of Pisces and now we have wands, which is your energy now, which is Leo uh, Sag Aries. So now we have success here. And a moon, so you may think, again, you know, like, oh, this is just illusion, it's too good to be true. Um, or the, the moon energy can be, you know, not knowing all the facts or not seeing things clearly. Uh, maybe you may think it's just an illusion or you're disillusioned. Or this could just be, you know, make sure you know all the facts before making this decision here because you are indecisive or you may be. So maybe you really need to know everything you need to know about this offer, this proposal, knowing all the facts, knowing every little detail, but you do have success here. So there will be success even though you don't know all the facts right now. So your advice is to you know, successfully seek out everything you need to seek out. And I think this is very, will be very successful for you moving forward. So let's get more clarity on that. Ten of Swords and Four of Pentacles, security, endings and security. So, <laughs> so you're ready to end wherever you are now that you're feeling monetary lack. You feel like you work, work, work. You're just bored and discontent and you're unhappy. You work, you can't get ahead. And now you're ready to end that with the Ten of Swords. And again, it may be a hurtful, painful ending because of the friends you've made that are like family if you've been there a very long time like I said with the six of cups energy you know it could be a little hard ending this um you know maybe you've been there a very long time like I said so there may be some aspects of that that may be very hurtful and uh, hard to end but this is security so I feel like you know for your own security this is something this ending is necessary 
for your own security so that you can move forward successfully and be in this King of Pentacles energy. So, I mean, you may even be going off on your own and owning your own business as with the Emperor energy here. Somebody may be helping you along the way to start something new or you could be going into partnership or you could be working for somebody who's very successful and you could have a high ranking position and you will have the security and abundance here that you need moving forward after you end the cycle here that you're in that is not serving you. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. What? Okay. What did I do with the Six of Wands? Okay, that goes here. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so let's get a possible outcome for you, Leo. If you decide to take this, you find out all your facts, everything you need to know. You just, I do see success here. So seven of cups, possibility. So, you know, this is weighing out all the options of the situations, the pros, the cons, um, knowing all the details, all the possibility of this situation moving forward. And you may be a little confused about, about it for some reason, or you may, like I had said feel a little disillusioned or like a daydreamy state like oh I don't think this is real too good to be true but you know the seven of cups possibility there is possibility here for success and growth security here just need to find out all the details look at all the pros and cons here at this possibility so let's get more for your possible outcome nine of cups there you go and judgment so Nine of Cups, wish come true. This, I think you're thinking this is like a wish come true. It can't be real. But here's your happiness and joy. Wish come true. Uh, dreams coming true here with the Nine of Cups energy. And then you have Judgment, which is the Scorpio energy. So this is about uh, making a final judgment call, making a decision over this situation. So I feel you will make a judgment call here. You will have to, because you know it's too good to pass by. It's a wish, it's a dream come true. And uh, it's definitely a possibility here for you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Three of Cups reunion. So I, like I said, I feel like this could be somebody that you you knew from college, maybe high school, childhood, something like that or maybe even a first job or something, and you like run into this person or you just get together out of the blue and all of a sudden this opportunity arises that you just feel is too good to be true. And it's being able to do something that you feel like you can do that you really been wanting to do. And there's the chariot, cancer energy. So here you are deciding to take that positive movement forward being very balanced and aligned, being very successful, having that drive, ambition, and positive movement forward. And there's your brand new beginning. And I had felt that, and that's your fire energy, Leo Sag Aries. Entrepreneurship, business, adventure. Um, it's exciting, it's growth. Um, very, feeling very passionate and determined. Moving forward, new endeavor brand new beginning here for you. Page of Wands, creativity, exactly. So I definitely feel like this person's coming in with maybe even a creative idea, but this is the communication, the offer coming in of some sort of creative adventure, endeavor, business proposal, um, or something like that coming in for you. And there you are, Leo. There you are, Leo. Happiness, joy, success, victory, growth, expansion, happy home and family life in every single way. Enlightenment. So there's your happiness, joy, success, victory is with the Six of Wands. Yep. The offer comes in. You have the brand new beginning. You move forward victoriously after running in or meeting up with this person, maybe out of the blue and this whole new thing uh, comes forward for you. Wow. And I feel like you can trust it. I think it'll bring in a lot of growth. It's, you have a lot of pentacle energy here, so I feel like it'll bring in a lot of growth. Um, 
expansion, prosperity, wealth. So, let's see. Let's see for you, Leo. Let's get some extra guidance and advice for you in this situation, Leo. The first half of September for Leo. Wow. Okay, let's see what we have here. So we have family culture. Learn more about your family stories and history. So I, I don't know what that means for some of you, but if you've been wanting to know more about your family ancestry, culture, and things of that nature, this is telling you it's a time to do that. Or maybe whatever you're going into will involve something to do with, with culture, with people and culture and community and things like that. All right, so, and then we have simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of excess. So I definitely think the excess, I think, is where you are now and the amount of time you spend having to work at whatever you're doing here. You put a lot of energy into it. Now you'll be able to have this brand new beginning where you can kind of relax a little bit more, not work so hard, not work so many long hours, and put your really, put, really put your energy into something that... Um, you really love to do and also be able to do things for yourself that you love to do outside of your work. All right, let's see. I'm just curious if there's anything else for Leo the first half of September. Any other advice and guidance for Leo the first half of September? Spirit, please, thank you so much. So we get one more. If not, I'll just do the bottom of the deck. Anything else for Leo? Anything else for Leo? Love from your parents. No matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. So you may have uh, a lot of family support. We have a lot of family coming up here. So, you know, maybe you'll have a lot of love and support from your family. Maybe they help you out a lot because they know you work your butt off and you still can't make ends meet. So maybe that's, you know, maybe your family helps you out a little bit in some ways. All right, so let's see. Best friends, true friends stick together no matter what. So this could even be a best friend coming into you saying, hey, I got something, you know, I want to propose to you. What do you think of this? And then boom, you jump in. And I see growth, abundance, prosperity, wealth, being very passionate and fiery moving forward in this. And it could be something with the best friend here. And definitely, yes, the answer to your question is a strong yes. So should you accept this offer? Should you make this decision? Absolutely, yes. Definite yes here. Definite yes there, uh, Leo. Whatever this is for you. Leo, okay. I hope this resonated for you. If it didn't, you can check the uh, description box below for a past Leo playlist. I would say if something resonates there for you. I would say definitely watch it. Disregard the dates. I do consider them timeless. And uh, if you do like my style, how I read, I ask that you please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love for all the signs. If you don't want to get all the notifications of all the other signs, I ask that you please don't unsubscribe. You can as easily just uncheck, unclick the bell. And then you'll have to manually go into your subscription area and find all the latest videos from all your subscriptions. You'll have to find my videos there and you can watch them from there. So that's also an option if you don't like to get the notifications. So best of luck to you in this situation here. Follow your heart and uh, in your heart's desire and your soul purpose and keep moving forward. And I see a lot of victory and success here. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.